Hi, everybody. This is Shane Armon Rowe, and we're going to try to keep this under five minutes. I just don't think it's going to happen. We'll do our best. First thing, go to the Discover store and install Moonlight. This is the game streaming client here for the Steam Deck. I've already got it installed. Um, so you can always launch it from the Discover store if you want to, but you can also launch it from the Start menu. In this case, though, we probably don't want to have to launch it from the Start menu. We're going to want to launch it from Gaming Mode, and we're going to want to launch it straight from Steam. So right-click on Moonlight and add to Steam. It won't really look like it's doing anything, and it won't give you any sort of an update, but it probably worked. So we're going to go ahead and jump ourselves back over to Gaming Mode and check it out. Because it is a non-Steam game, you'll find it tucked away in the non-Steam tab. And there she is, ready for us to go. But before we do that, we'll need to set things up on the Windows side. So you're going to go ahead and run the uh, NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Now remember, you must have an RTX or GTX card that's compatible with game streaming. This is not the Sunshine solution. This is the Game Streaming Moonlight solution. Once you're inside of the GeForce Experience, go to the gear. And uh, you're going to want to find the, uh, well, let's, first of all, let's make sure that your game, uh, your machine is actually good enough for this and that it's all set up. So if you go over here, it'll say the game stream is ready. That means your machine has passed the basic parameters around being able to do game streaming. So that's perfect, but you still have to turn it on, which is underneath, oddly enough, it is underneath, not that one, not that one, but it is actually under Shield, because this technology was originally designed to stream games from your PC to the NVIDIA Shield product. So all you have to do is turn it on. Now, there's a way you can add extra games in here and all that stuff. We're going to get to that in just a minute. We just want to get a working solution. Let's go ahead and run Moonlight from the Steam Deck. And you're going to see a pop-up that appears when you try to connect to the computer for the first time. You must authorize on your PC the ability to connect. So you're going to have to enter that four-digit code on your PC. You only have to do this once. And once you're connected, the box will be available. Well, let's go do some setup here. So um, vi video bitrate, you're going to want to turn this up as high as you possibly can and still maintain a stable connection. If you're wired on your Steam Deck and your PC, this is the optimum solution, right? Optimum solution is wired on both machines. If you have one on wired and one on Wi-Fi, that's the second best. Both on Wi-Fi is the worst. So there's all sorts of configuration items I was showing over here. Force Gamepad 1, always connected, is probably something you're going to want to put on. I'm not going to put it on yet, but I will show you later on why I do that. And there's a handful of other items you can choose here. But for the most part, you really want to crank up that streaming bitrate. That's going to give you the best possible quality. Exceeding 60 FPS doesn't really matter, and we are at 800p resolution. So let's go ahead and start it up. We're going to run Steam. And, uh, oh, something went wrong. So, okay. Well, that does happen. That happened the first time I ran it. I haven't seen it happen again. So let's go ahead and go back in one more time. All right. So now we're see here, right here. You can see we're on my PC. And we are launching Overwatch on my PC, streaming via game stream and Moonlight over to my Steam Deck. Now you can play with your resolutions and all that other sort of thing. I'm just trying to get you a working shooting solution here up front. Now if you see the frame counter in the upper left, you can see my PC is going to be cranking out far more frames than the deck could even display. So uh, if you really want to play with uh, you know the frame rates and things like that, I just leave everything alone. I don't monkey with the frame rates. I just play as is. So we're just going to jump in here real quick. And I'm going to show you around. I'm going to take a look here. and It looks great, right? I mean, this is Overwatch running at Epic Settings being streamed over to my Steam Deck. Now, the great part is, of course, I'm not using hardly any battery. This, this deck is just acting as a dumb terminal and a controller at this point. So you're going to see a lot of battery savings, uh, a lot longer than if you were just doing it by itself. All right, so we're going to go ahead and force that gamepad one. I had some initial issues, so just go ahead and, and force it on. You'll also notice that this pop-up happens. Those buttons do not highlight with the controller, but trust me, if you hit right and left, it is selecting something. This is just a 
sort of a glitch, but those uh, yes and no's actually work. See right here, yes and no. I use, I'm using a mouse, of course, but if you use a controller, it does work. It just doesn't highlight the buttons as you would hope it to. All right, so let's add a specific game to game stream. Just click add. Now you can use a shortcut from your desktop. Obviously this isn't optimum because you won't get an icon attached to it, but that's okay. I mean, listen, you can mess with this on your own time. I just want to show you that you can set up separate game launchers so you don't have to go through Steam every single time you want to play a game. And you can see, here we go. And of course this game uh, definitely needs a little extra horsepower to run well. So let's take a look at what it looks like while it's being streamed. And you, you'll see it looks great. I mean, this is, this is harnessing the full power of my PC right now. The game is great. I'm getting good frame rates, obviously. Uh, I'm maxed out what the Steam Deck display can possibly do. Now let's take a look at a comparison. I got the Steam Deck here and I've got it up on my PC. This will let you see what sort of lag you're talking about visually. For the most part, it's pretty imperceivable. Now, obviously, your mileage may vary. Game streaming depends on so many things, and most people don't think about it. It's not just how fast your network is. It's the quality of your network. Are you wired? This is one device wired, the PC, and the deck is playing off of Wi-Fi. Uh, and as you can see, it's pretty good. There's, I can see it. I can see a tiny amount of lag. Most people aren't going to see it or care. Um, but yeah, I can see it. I mean, you should be able to see it in this in this video. All right, listen, I hope you like what you saw. Click like, subscribe. You guys know what to do. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Shane R. Monroe. Until next time, take care.